everyone, this is Dan with another episode of my Moderna and BioNTech video. I want to show you the charts in the next few minutes and tell you where the profit opportunities might be. Let's get started. I always believe that technical analysis is most powerful when it is combined with fundamental analysis. I've therefore spent a lot of time looking into the companies and the latest developments with regard to COVID and the Delta variant. I published a 28 minute video on July 8th just to talk about fundamental analysis and to show my calculations for my price targets for Moderna and BioNTech. You can look up that video in my YouTube channel if you're interested. And earlier today, I posted a video to update my price targets to. Moderna at $300 a share and BioNTech at $270 a share to be reached by the end of September 2021. And as today, July 16, the market closed at Moderna $286 and BioNTech at $231. At this point, I'd like to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor. I share my stock trading strategies for educational purpose only. If you want to buy and sell stocks, you should make your own decisions and you should definitely consult with your financial advisors before you do so. Let's continue. Moderna, this is the daily chart. From this chart, we can see that it's been trending upward very nicely since March. And as of today, it broke above that channel. That's even better. Why? That's because of the news about Moderna being included in the S&P 500 index pretty soon. That's a huge positive for the stock. If you look at the RSI indicator, we have an overbought situation here back in February. And sure enough, soon after that, the stock price started to come down a little bit. Another overbought situation here corresponding to the peak here. And now we are at an overbought situation again. Although because of the extremely positive news about inclusion in the S&P 500, the stock price might just continue to go up for maybe a couple more days, but I'll be very watchful. And if it start drifting down, I might sell some of my shares to lock in my short-term profit. And then I'll pick it up again at a lower price later on. If you look at the DMI indicator, it showed a buy signal three, four days ago. And the MACD indicator showed a buy signal just today. This is the hourly chart. Again, very positive in the last two, three days, going up through this very steep upward sloping channel. But as of today, especially during aftermarket, looks like it peaked out at about 289 and it's been going sideways. And if you look at the RSI indicator, there's an overbought situation here. And then sure enough, the price started to go sideways for a, a few hours. And now we have been at an overbought situation. And that's why the stock price is going sideways again. So this is a signal saying that maybe it's due for a short-term pullback. And that's why I'll be very watchful. We see a positive buy signal here from DMI. And actually MACD already flashed a sell signal. So I'll be very careful. Let's look at the support and resistance levels. For Moderna, because it's been going up so well, I have to use the Fibonacci extension to understand the potential resistance levels. And there are different ways to draw Fibonacci extensions. If you ask two different analysts to draw the Fibonacci diagrams, I bet you most likely you will see two completely different diagrams. This is the way I like to draw it. I like to draw the diagram so that it'll confirm some of the points that the price has hit in the last few days. So I use the April point here, right in the beginning of April as the minimum, and this point around June 5th as the maximum point. And then from that, I draw the Fibonacci extension. For support, I see support at 272, which is right here. Because today it ended at 286, 272 is going to be at the Fibonacci 50% level. The next level down is 260 at Fibonacci 38%. Next level down 245 at Fibonacci 23%. And then next level down is 220. 
which is this previous max at Fibonacci 0%. For resistance, the next level is actually the current point at 286, which is exactly the Fibonacci 61%. That's why I like this diagram. And then the next level up is 301 at Fibonacci 78% right here. Next level up, 323 at Fibonacci 100%. If you like what you've seen so far, I'd like to encourage you to click the like, subscribe, and notification button so that you'll be notified when I publish my next video. Also, it'll encourage YouTube to direct more viewers to my channel. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Let's look at the chart for BioNTech. Up until a couple of days ago, it was somewhat bearish. The price was following this slightly downward channel. And then as of today, it broke above that channel. Finally, we got a bullish sign. Actually, I bought some shares when it started to turn around right around here based on my fundamental analysis. And I tweeted my subscribers about that. Why is it going up now? I think mainly it's because the news came out that the joint venture company with BioNTech, Folsom in China, is making good progress in getting the Chinese government to approve the BioNTech vaccine and that the government is planning to use the vaccine as the booster shot for the Chinese citizens who previously received the Sinovac or the Sinopharm vaccine. And that's a huge business opportunity because China has 1.4 billion people. Once the BioNTech vaccine is used in China, it will also encourage the other countries that have been using other vaccines previously to use the mRNA vaccines as booster shots. So it'll definitely help BioNTech. It'll also help Moderna. We see an overbought signal here on the RSI line. And sure enough, the price started to go down. And then we see another overbought signal here corresponding to the dip here. At this point, we are still a distance away from hitting 75 on RSI. So we're not in imminent danger yet as far as pullback when it comes to the daily chart. We see a bullish buy signal here from DMI and MACD is just about to turn bullish. So it looks like BioNTech might still have a couple of days to go up at least. Let's look at the hourly chart. It's been pretty bullish in the last three days. We see a overbought signal here on the RSI. And sure enough, there was a dip after that. And an overbought signal here corresponding to the chart going flat line for a few days. And eventually it started to drop. And we are at that point again now. So from an hourly period, there might be a pullback in the next few trading hours. But from daily chart, it's still pretty bullish. And we see a bullish buy signal on a DMI. And the MACD has been going positive and negative. And now it's almost crossing to the negative territory. So on an hourly basis, it might drift down a little bit for the next two, three hours. And then might pick up again and continue to march up especially if BioNTech is going to secure the approval from the Chinese government in the next few days. Let's look at the support and resistance levels. Again, I'm using the Fibonacci extension. I'm using this point here in the beginning of March as a minimum point, and this point here on May 5th as a maximum point. For support, I see the next level at 223, which is the middle of the Bollinger Band here. Today's closing price is about 231. So the next level support will be 223 here. And then next level down will be 213 at the previous max here. And then the next level down will be 204, the lower Bollinger Band, the purple line here. And the next level down 195, the historical support here. And the next level down 182, the historical support here. And hopefully the price doesn't get to that point anytime soon. For resistance, I see the next level of resistance at 239, which is right here at Upper Bollinger Band. And also coincidentally, it's a 23.6% Fibonacci extension. So that'll be a rather strong resistance level. I'll be watching for that. Once the price hits that level and if it starts to come down substantially, I might be selling some of my shares to lock in my short-term profit. And then hopefully it can pick it up again at a lower price. Now the next level up is 258 right here at Fibonacci extension, 38%. And then the next level up is 270 at Fibonacci, 
next level up 286 at Fibonacci extension 61%. What are my strategies? I'll be holding some Moderna and BioNTech shares for the long term because I am very bullish about these two companies. And I think they have a while to go yet before they hit their full price potentials. And I'll swing trade the rest of my shares for short term profit. Basically, I'll be selling at major resistance levels or when I hear any major adverse news that happens so that I can lock in my short term profit. And I'll be buying when the price starts to bounce back from a major support point or when positive news breaks out in the future, like what I did with BioNTech and Moderna recently. And I will update my subscribers by way of my Twitter messages. At this point, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to my Twitter account. The name is Dan Market L. When I buy or sell Moderna BioNTech shares, I will inform my subscribers by way of my Twitter messages. For example, on July 13, I tweeted that I just bought more BioNTech shares on a dip and I explain why. Again, if you like this video, I'd like to encourage you to click the like, subscribe and notification button. As usual, I would very much welcome your comments, questions and suggestions. I just want to recap my price targets. My Moderna target is $300 a share and BioNTech $270 a share to be reached by the end of September 2021. And hopefully you can navigate the charts successfully to maximize your profit and minimize any potential losses. This wraps up my video for now. I will chat with you again in the next few days. In the meanwhile, I'd like to wish you the very best with your financial investments. Thank you. You have a nice day.